So we're in New York City for the 5G Transport and Edge event. I'm here with Ibrahim from Colinia. Good to see you, Ibrahim. Likewise, Ray. So can you just tell us about Colinia Networks, about uh, you know, what you do and, and where you're active in the world? So the Colinia Networks, uh, founded back in 2014, we are building and pioneering a new wireless transport system. We are combining free space optics along with microwave and E-band systems to give a much more available, much more reliable wireless transport system. Okay. And in terms of uh, where you're active in the world, is it all over the world or some particular markets? Yeah, so we are active in all parts of the world except for Latin America because we have not focused there as yet. We have trials going on in most countries in, uh, in different regions. So primarily we're active in Australia, New Zealand, uh, Asia Pac, um, Europe, and in, the, in North America. Okay, excellent. So um, obviously wireless transport has been around for a very long time and you said you've developed something that, that's new to the market. So how does what uh, Colinia has developed, how does that compare to other options, say for example uh, microwave? Right, so microwave systems are really for shorter capacity, longer reach links. What we really built is uh, traditional E-band, which is available from different vendors, so we can do 10 gig or 20 gig uh, using E-band, uh, millimeter wave technology. But we've added, in addition to that, a free space optics technology, FSOC okay. technology, that we can do, which is unlicensed, which we can do up to five kilometers uh, up of 10 gig capacity. Okay. So anywhere you don't, you don't have uh, spectrum availability for, uh, for RF or E-band, you could actually use a FSOC technology, FSO technology using, using our product sets. Okay. So can you tell us a little bit more about Hybrid Connects? That, is that your key platform that you're going out to market with? So we have, that is one of our solution set. We have an E-band based technology that we call Air Connects that you can carry traffic up to five kilometers again, two to five kilometers, uh, can go further if the conditions are good, uh, but that's Air Connects. Uh, we can do 10 or 20 gig in that E-band uh, connection. Okay. We have another t uh, configuration, another uh, product set we call Light Connects, that's again an FSO-based technology. Again, you know, up to five kilometers, 10 gig of capacity. Now, Hybrid Connects, what you talked about, Ray, which is a combination of these two technologies together okay. for a single link that give higher availability, uh, but we can also combine that with a licensed microwave technology. So you can have a traditional multi-band technology that, we, that everybody talks about. We could have E-band, FSO, and microwave if, if an operator chooses to do that. Okay. So how is this development meeting the needs of customers? What are the key considerations you're seeing from the companies you're working with in terms of their wireless transport needs? So, of course, the, the, the most important thing is, you know, wherever there's no fiber or, or difficulty to get to the fiber, it's a play. The number two is, is capacity. Everybody is now looking for multi-gig wireless transport. And I think this, this is a really great way to carry the, uh, the capacity that they need. But critically, uh, what's more important is there are many countries that they don't have E-band spectrum. Okay. You, you have some form of capacity, uh, spectrum, but not the, the two gigs that you need really to carry the 10 gig over E-band. That's where a hybrid connect system or a light connect system, which is FSO based technology, really help those operators. So that's really a differentiation that we are seeing. That's what we deliver to our customers. Okay. And so we're at a pretty crucial stage right now in 5G network planning and, and, and developments and, and rollouts. What do you see being the key trends over the next three years that will impact uh, demand for wireless transport? So clearly, you know, we are at a show, at the 5G transport show, Clearly, 5G is going to really drive the capacity needs for wireless transport systems. You know, North America is a little different where we have a lot of fiber, but there are other parts of the world, in Europe, 
in Latin America, in Asia, that we, they don't have the fiber that we have on the ground. Yeah. So they're going to, they are going to be challenged to carry the capacity that is needed for the 5G. And that's where we come into play. One of the things we are definitely seeing is the availability of these links. That's where we are really providing using our hybrid connect product sets. We are definitely seeing a, uh, a latency requirement. So we, the lower latency application is going to drive. So we are actually delivering highly um, available products that has low latency to carry these, these product sets. So that's what we are delivering for our product uh, customers. OK, excellent. All right, well, it sounds like an exciting time for you uh, in the market. So hope to catch up again sometime. Ibrahim, thanks very much. Thanks again, Ray.